guys. It is Tuesday, January 11th, 2022 at 5.11 p.m. Alright, let's start with a Bible verse. We have daily verses.net verse of the day. It says, He said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. Mark 16:15. Alright, let's start. North Korea launches second suspected ballistic missile in a week. So North Korea... Uh, fired a uh, suspected ballistic missile into the sea. South Korea's military said on Tuesday, ratcheting up tensions uh, less than a week after Pyongyang reported testing what is said was a hypersonic missile. So Korea already testing their hypersonic missiles. Um, the United States still hasn't developed a hypersonic missile. I believe Russia and China have hypersonic missiles, and North Korea is testing their hypersonic missiles. So, heads up for us, basically. And since the early launch came, the United Nations Security Council met in New York to discuss last week's uh, test of what Pyongyang called a hypersonic missile, although Seoul has cast doubt on that claim. So, North Korea testing missiles. It says U.S. grounded planes as a precaution after North Korean missile launch. The United States grounded planes because of the possible North Korean missile launch as a precaution. It says an unusual group ground stop was issued to some pilots for a short period of time following North American Aerospace Defense Command alert of a launch of a North Korean missile, the U.S. the U.S. official said on Tuesday. The official said it is not a national ground stop. It may have been issued by a regional air traffic control facility. No warning was issued by NORAD headquarters regarding a potential threat to the U.S., according to Captain Pamela Kunze, a chief of NORAD's uh, spokesperson. The Federal Aviation Administration, responsible for the nation's air traffic control system, said the ground stop was to err on the side of safety. So, just to be cautious and safe because of the possible North Korean uh, missiles. Alright guys, I'll leave you guys the link to these articles so you guys can check out for yourselves the story. It says, North Korea's hypersonic missile claim is seen as an attempt to boost its bargaining position. North Korea is seeking to build up its missile capability in order to boost its bargaining position, says one political analyst who pointed out the country's latest attempt last week to test fire a hypersonic missile. So they're pretty much just testing out their missiles. Alright. Next. Remember, we're never ending boosters were a conspiracy. Pfizer CEO is saying the fourth booster will be ready in a few months. Remember when the never ending booster were a conspiracy? Well, Pfizer CEO Alert Borla on Monday said that his company is aiming to have a vaccine that targets the Omicron variant as well as other CV19 variants ready in March. The vaccine will be ready in March, Borla said in an appearance. On CNN's Squawk Box. So they're already ramping up for the fourth one. Alright. Next, it's time to take out your money from the bank. Vaccine mandates ban the unvaxxed from visiting banks in multiple countries. Next is Italy. And it begins restricting access to non compliers. Have a jab and you can have your money. But better, this is all about health, nothing else but just health. Italy's latest COVID restrictions came into force on Monday, January 10th, 2022, when the government once again expanded the scope of the Super Green Pass, the digital certificate which can only be obtained by those who are vaccinated or have recovered from CV-19. From January 20th, a basic Green Pass will be needed to access hairdressers and beauticians. 1st of February, not January 20th, known as the tweet below, will be required to enter banks post offices, non-essential shops, and shopping malls. That is for Italy. Also in Argentina, as well in, as in India, in Canada, and Nigeria. So that's pretty, pretty spooky, guys. The possibility of not being able to go into banks, not being able to go into post offices, not being able to go and do the things you usually do like pay your bills with it because you can't go into the bank and get your money 
That is pretty, pretty spooky, guys. All right, next, a water war from Nebraska versus Colorado. Governor Pete Ricketts announces a $500 million plan to divert water out of Colorado. It says Nebraska's Governor Pete Ricketts announced a $500 million plan to divert water out of Colorado under a 99-year-old compact between the states that allows Nebraska to seize access to Colorado land along the South Plate River and build canals. Ricketts said Nebraska would invoke its rights under the South Plate River Compact amid concerns that Colorado's plans for the river could reduce water flows into the state as, by as much as 90%, taking a potentially huge toll on Nebraska's agricultural and power industries and likely affecting water supplies in the state's two largest cities, Omaha and Lincoln. We're very concerned about what's going to happen with these projects, Ricketts, a Republican, said at a news conference. The reduced stream flows are we're going to have a dramatic impact on our ability to feed the world. That is a heads up for you guys in Colorado and in Nebraska. It doesn't sound good at all. Possibility of diverting water out of Colorado. That is very, very spooky. And who knows what else could, that could lead to other than uh, food being not being produced. Who knows what else that could lead to possibility of other states uh, doing war because of water. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Hit like and subscribe for more news. And see you guys next time. God bless.